guys, what's up, it's Hope, and I'm here to bring you just another quick update on how everything is going for me right now. Um, today is actually November 3rd, 2015, and it's my birthday today. I am actually 29 years old, as you can see my button here. And I kind of just want to talk about that for a minute because I'm having a really hard time with it. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with infertility stuff. So I kind of just want to talk about that real quick and just talk about how blessed I am and how grateful I am to have another year of life. And I've tried to really... I don't know grab life by the horns and I've had a really hard time doing that for year 28 with all of the infertility stuff that we went through and I'm really trying to look at year 29 as this being our year and just really trying to stay positive and stay hopeful and just really rely on our faith and my faith and my husband's faith together all of us um, to just see us through and whatever we end up doing for this particular year um, whether that be related to um, infertility or our health or um, raising the boys um, whether that be um, just living life to the fullest I'm really excited about this next year and so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that today because uh, all of my life anytime someone asked me what do you want to be when you grow up I would always say I want to be a mom um, I want to be a mommy. I want to have babies. I want to have a family. And that was just always something that was the number one, my number one wish list, my number one want, my number one goal in life was to always be a mom. And so I've always had that calling on my heart and on my life since I was little, since I can remember, that would be my answer. I still can't tell you what I want to be when I grow up, but I could definitely tell you that I still want to be a mom. And my mom had me when she was 30, and I was a very, um, as, I don't know, like she had me and my sister back to back really close together. And um, I was super grateful for that, but at the same time, I always had just this depiction in my mind of, you know, well, I want to have all my kids by the time I'm 30. Because my mom had me when she was 30, and she had my sister, you know, the next year, and so I want to have all my kids by the time I'm 30. And it just like, I really started thinking about that within the last couple of weeks because here I am fixing to be 29. I'm 29 today, so I don't have any kids. And so I kind of felt a little anxiety about that, like I'm running out of time. But I feel like, I just feel like sometimes we get these dreams, these wishes, these I don't know, these things, these these things in our mind that just kind of we fixate on and we, we spend so much time waiting for our life to start when we're already living, we're already alive, we already are in a chapter of our life that is continuing. And so um, that's one of the things that I'm really going to focus on for year 29 is just being grateful for life. It's been really hard and really just a long struggle this year. Um, with going through several rounds of infertility treatment, um, changing, dip, going through two different specialists all within the last year, having our first IUI um, that did not work. I don't know. We've just gone through so much this last year with infertility. And so um, going into year 29, I'm going to try to focus less on this crazy dream I have of having all my kids by the time I'm 30 and just relying on God's plan for us and what our, what his plan is for me and for my life. And if his plan for my life is for me to have babies in my thirties, then that's what's going to happen. I know that God's plan is perfect and that no matter what happens, um, you know, he will see us through, he will be guiding us every step of the way. And so I'm kind of just throwing all of my past notions and, those dreams that I've fixated on and for some reason giving myself a crazy time limit on, I'm just kind of chunking those out the window and, and just really want to hand over um, our journey to him. And so I'm really going to focus on that for year 29. Um, another thing I really want to focus on for year 29 is getting back to the basics. Um, over the last year or so, I've really gotten to the point where I just eat whatever I want. I, you know, don't haven't really exercised in a long time. Going back to the whole weight loss surgery aspect of it all. And so I haven't really 
um, done a whole lot of healthy living within the year 28. It started off really good and once I got to a good maintenance weight, I decided, you know, I'm done with living healthy and I'm done with um, you know, being so strict on myself. My whole life has always been about food in control, um, food, you know, making me feel a certain way negatively always. And so, um, it's been, it's been really a hard year as far as health goes. Now I haven't gained a tremendous amount of weight, but I can feel, I feel that I definitely have, I know that I've gained weight, but I also feel really sluggish. I don't feel as healthy as I felt before. Um, of course I have days where I, where I eat really well and then I have other days where I'm just like, I don't care, I'm gonna eat whatever. Of course I still have a lot of restriction and I can't eat a whole lot of whatever I want to eat. But at the same time, I did not have weight loss surgery to be able to eat whatever I want to. I had weight loss surgery to get healthy and to hopefully become a mom and so I want to get back to the basics and so that's something I'm really going to focus on for year 29. I really want to get back to healthy eating and just feeling better. I just haven't felt real good in a long time and I know obviously we've been going through so much with infertility but in the areas where I can control it I would like to be able to make sure that I'm eating healthy and that, it, that I'm feeling the best I can be for the day whenever it does come that I find out that we are pregnant. I want to be in my very best body. So that is another thing that I'm going to be focusing on for year 29. Um, but for year 29, I really just want to focus on living life and being grateful for everything that I do have and, um, and just trying to stay optimistic and positive. It's been a really hard year as far as 28 goes. I was looking back on my time hop and um, last year there was a picture of something on my time hop and underneath it it said, um, happy birthday to me, year 28, Hopeful, hoping and praying this is the year I become a mommy. And there's other things on my time hop within the last few years that say the exact same thing. And so I'm just really hoping that this year is our year and I am asking and, and would hope that you would all join me in those prayers and I know that you all will support me on this journey that I'm on. Y'all do such an amazing job of that now. I'm so grateful for um, all of the friends and family that I've found through YouTube. And so I just wanted to get on here real quick and let y'all know kind of what my goals are for year 29. And to thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support this last year. I do plan on continuing to update you as far as YouTube goes. And hopefully have a lot of really exciting things coming as far as my YouTube channel goes. So I hope that you will continue to be on this journey with me. I really appreciate all your love and support and your prayers. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is the year that I get to become a mommy. And that all of my dreams come true. But in the meantime, I'm also praying that I am content and that I stay stay faithful um, and that I just stay the race and that I am um, just continuing to be grateful for everything that I've been blessed with and um, I definitely count all of the people that I've come across on YouTube as a definite blessing. Y'all's support has been so incredible to me and I'm really grateful for it. So I will let y'all guys go for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye!